Well, we are here at the top of these cliffs. You can see it is a long way, luring yourself over this edge. And once you're over the edge here, it will feel better. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. I don't think I paid enough attention to the safety briefing. I don't really know what I'm doing at all. <laughs> Are you holding on to the end? So at the moment we're on our little island hideaway in North Wales and of course, it being Wales, it's raining. But if it ain't raining, it ain't training. We have learned over a lifetime of living up here to not be scared of a bit of bad weather. We've learned that skin is waterproof. So today we're going to do a little episode where I teach Jesse, our eldest son, who's 17 years old now, how to rappel off some of our big cliffs that we have here. And we have the most amazing cliffs on this island, uh, up to like 150 foot sheer drops. Um, and they're imposing because you've got the sea underneath you and Jesse has grown up, so he's seen me for many years climbing up them and often abseiling and rappelling down them. Uh, he is really pretty fearless when it comes to heights. We've got Jesse coming in over here in terms of paragliding and base jumping and skydiving, but he gets really pretty scared when it comes to climbing. And I've had some classic adventures with him over the years in the Alps and out here climbing where, you know, this boy who I know is fearless in so many ways gets really scared so I said today we're actually going to teach you how to repel safely and you're not going to be scared. Uh, I also want to talk a little bit about how to make repels safe, how to anchor it uh, effectively, and the sort of things we don't normally have time to go into on a running wild show because everything's happening so fast and the edit gets so fast. But we're going to talk a little bit about how to secure the ropes, secure yourself to the rope and repel safely and we're gonna to get to see Jesse looking scared. So having said all of that, would you like to meet the man himself? Here we go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how are you feeling? I'm a bit, I'm a bit scared, to be honest. Well, I was just I... looking at the rain thinking, what if I slip? It's a valid point, and, a, and another risk yeah. we're gonna mitigate to make sure you do this safely. <laughs> so how's it different to when you jump off things together with me when we do all this other stuff? I'm always thinking, always in my mind, why was the rope snab? So why I slip here, let go of the, the repelling thing? But it's the it's same just... as when you skydive. Why happens if you didn't pull your chute? You know? Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, that's easy. That's easy. It's just got one thing to think about. Because you're familiar yeah, I've got with a million. It, maybe. Yeah, probably. Well, we're going to talk about that. The key is rope protection, where it goes over the edge, protecting that. Your anchor points, and then not letting go of that rope. You know, you yeah. got to. You're in charge of your own life. Don't let go of the rope. Although we are going to put a backup on, yeah. so you're going to see all of this stuff. How to do it uh, on this episode. You ready? Up it is. Okay. Okay, so Jesse's going to get his harness on. Meanwhile, we are here at the top of these cliffs. You can see down here, it is a long way. It's a good 150 foot straight off the edge of this. And what we're going to do is show how we make it safe to do. It looks scary, but it's totally doable. And as I said, you know, for Jesse, this is something he finds scary, even though he is so fearless in so many other ways. It's one of the things I really love in people when they are great adventurers, but they're also they're honest about what they find difficult. Because the truth is, heights are scary and heights are dangerous. And you only make one mistake that's catastrophic once and the consequences are obviously big. The most important factors when you're dealing with heights like this and descending, first of all, do you really need to do this? Is this your only way down? If the answer is there's another way, find it. Always go the path of least resistance when it comes to the wild. Uh, the goal for the good survivors is to take minimum amount of risk. If you do need to do it, this you're only a way down. Key things, your anchor points. No good having grey harness, grey ropes if your anchor points are weak. We've got an anchor in here, you can see it's a bolt. One in here, one in here. Uh, I've used these up on these cliffs for years. I know these are strong. Uh, the principle is you want a minimum of two anchor points that you are 100% confident with. Sometimes you're absolutely sure it's strong going that way, but if you pull it up, it's going to be much weaker. But people say, but you're not pulling it up, the forces are going that way. That's true, but if you think about when you start to repel, you're stood up at the start, you're putting your weight onto it, and that is upward force. So you've got to make sure your anchor points are secure, not only forces going that way, but also forces going upwards. Uh, I'm being doubly, doubly safe on this. I've backed it up here with a line 
that runs all the way back to the base of our wind turbine. So I've got this backed up at three places. Got a sling here that is equalized between that bolt and this bolt. And the rappel direction is going to be straight off here. So I want to put a nice big figure of eight into this. Okay, if you look here now, the angle, 90 degrees from this sling to that anchor point, that sling to that anchor point. 90 degrees is good. Once it gets more than 90 degrees, uh, the strength of that is going to decrease. So 90 degrees is great. And then we're going to secure the actual rappel rope from here straight off the edge. So anchors are good. The next important factor in rappelling, keeping it safe, is protecting your rope. The vulnerable points are where the rope runs from here over sharp edges like this. You know, you can have the best anchors in the world, but if that is really sharp, you're putting a lot of weight on it, it actually doesn't take much to cut through uh, these ropes. So you've got to put some form of protection there. So what we're going to use for this is what's called a rope pro. And we put that around the rope. And that goes over the edge and just protects it over the sharp bits like that. And we make sure we tie that then to the top of the rope so that stays in position. Okay, so we're going to secure the two lines we're going to rappel off here onto that sling. Red is danger. We're going to screw that up. Very important, always check your screw gates are done up. And then that rope is good to go off the edge. Helmets obviously important, especially where you've got loose crumbly rock like this. You bring little bits down uh, from a height. That can, it can kill you, it can also knock you out. If you're knocked out, then you're not co controlling the rope and then you're in trouble. So always wear a helmet if there's any risk of falling rocks. And the final thing is make sure you know your rope is on the ground at the bottom. Too many fatalities of people rappelling clean off the end of a rope. So whether it's somebody, if you can't see it in an overhang, make sure someone's down there to spot it. Uh, and if visually you can check that that rope is on the ground and then you are good to go. Okay, so we move back from the edge. We're on a stacked rappel, which yeah. means we're on the same lines, but one above the other. So I'm gonna go first. When I get to the bottom, I will be your safety. I'll get three strong pulls of the rope and that means you're good to go. The awkward bit is going over the edge initially. So even if you're on your belly a bit, lowering yourself over, keep that hand on that brake hand all the time, okay? Yeah. And uh, bags of confidence and you'll be fine. Uh, look, what you notice here we've done, we've brought the descender device right out here. This is called a mantis, and that's your, what breaks the rope, you know, gives you that friction. And if you're the lead person, you have a prussic, it means you can have your prussic from your strong point here to the rope, and then it's not all getting tangled. Does any of that make sense? No, I didn't catch a word. Awesome. Okay, we're good to go. This, Ultimately, though, this is about Jesse's in at the deep end. He's in that fog of adrenaline of like fear. But part of this tutorial is for you guys to understand this is why we have that rappel device away from you. So you can put the prussic. Again, old school, we used to put prussics in our leg loops. Uh, but really, those leg loops aren't rated. So now we put a prussic off our strong point and having that mantis and that descender a little bit away from your body stops prussics and descending devices getting confused and getting caught up with each other. Okay, happy to do it. Helmet's yeah. on, we good to go? Okay, champ, so this is gonna be the awkward bit. Lowering yourself over this edge. Wash your fingers with it. And once you're over the edge here, it will feel better, okay? And then hand goes onto the prostate, nice wide stance. That's okay, good wide stance. Yeah, don't be too vertical. If you're vertical, you're gonna slip down. So we're leaning back, okay? Nice wide stance like that with your feet, okay? And you'll feel three strong pulls, and that means you're good to go, yeah? And then once you're on it, just take your time and enjoy it. Okay, it's gonna be good.
I'm a bit nervous, but the you know, weather conditions are optimal. Yeah, perfect. And luckily, someone's right here to help. So many amazing, you know, Hollywood people and stars away on adventures and to repel with them. But actually, really fun for me to be here. Take Jesse, my son. Uh, he's watched us for so many years, and um, you kind of learn so much by watching, but so much more by actually doing. And uh, it's fun for me as well to see him really pretty scared because I did a lot of adventures with him and he's always pretty fearless but with this he's quite nervous and, uh, and I like that shows a bit of humanity okay yeah I still I don't think I paid enough attention to the safety briefing I don't really know what I'm doing at all <laughs> Ground. I'm going to move away from the edge, basically falling rocks. The thing is, I haven't even seen him, so I don't even know if he's okay. He's kind of wiggling. Once I was safe and secure on the ground, I gave the rope three strong tugs to let Jesse know it's now his turn to descend. Okay, are we all good? Go for it. Are you holding on to the end? I've got it. I've got it. If anything happens, I've got it. Okay, okay. How are you feeling, Jesse? <laughs> Not great, if I'm honest. Like, I feel like this is the worst part. Okay, am I all good? Oh. You're a long way down. So, reached the bottom, both of us safe, smile on his face. What was the scary bit of that? I mean, I thought going over the edge was bad. Yeah. And then I kind of reached that pretty gnarly looking overhang. And that, that was worse. <laughs> but from there, it was smooth sailing. Yeah, smash it, you did so well. So there you go, the principles of rappelling. Make sure the rope reaches the floor, make sure your anchors are bomb proof, make sure your rope protection is good and uh, make sure you've got a backup plan if the, your uh, person you're guiding's hand comes off the rope, whether it's bell ringing from underneath or if you've got some experience to know how to set up a prusik. Um, but good job. Down Thanks. safe, all happy, all alive. Smash it. Proud of you. Cool. So you're a pallet cliff.